Like what stuff? Weed in the coffee shops and girls in the window. <laughs> You're on a European tour right now? Yeah. How does it feel? Beautiful. Yeah. It's wonderful, man. Accept me everywhere I go. Um, people that don't speak English know all the words to my song, which is mm -hmm. still the most amazing thing to me in the world. Like, mm -hmm. like you don't speak English, but you know the whole song, like by heart. How? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. And yeah. what I, what I like to know is like, how do you, how do you experience that? Like going to all these countries and you see like people people's and heads embracing hip hop culture, but adding their own interpretation to it. And yeah, like you know, people that don't speak English, but they know the words of your song and. The way they live hip hop, but in a different, in a different manner, you know. How do you experience that? How do you see that? I mean, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Like for to start from New York City in the Bronx, and then you know, cross the all the way to Amsterdam, to Germany, and all the way over here, and people just embracing it and loving the culture. Like we grew up loving the culture. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm I'm static about that. I'm happy about that. So. Only thing like, like what what I can say like in the offer of advice is like for artists like coming up over here is that we did it off of the things that we experienced. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So just do it off of the things you experience. You got to keep it, not keep it real yeah, because that's a saying. cliche. But mm -hmm. you gotta you gotta the way we live it. out here and yeah. the things we go yeah, through. Yeah, because that's what everyone's gonna relate to. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna relate to what we're doing over mm -hmm. over there because they don't know. They don't live that every day. Mm -hmm. That's what made hip hop so special. It's like a microcosm of society. Like, well, what I talk about is what a lot of people go through, and that's 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 what you, that's what you call a good artist, someone mm -hmm. who can tell that story and bring the most people mm -hmm. in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. There's some deep lyrics in that where you're saying like, you talk about the making something out of nothing feeling. Yeah, my, the whole thing, the whole I'm talking too much. Yeah, no, no. The it's whole cool. thing, <laughs> the whole thing about the renegade was it was supposed to be. But my, I was talking to a reporter. If you listen to the whole thing, it's yeah, like you, you read know a what magazine that like, fucked up your day. Yeah, I so I was doing an that interview. I, the, the whole the verses that you know is an interview. You know what I'm saying? So I was just really breaking down like what's going on in the hood. Like you, you're not really listening. Like you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all write things and y'all don't really listen to what's going on. Y'all not really listening to what I'm saying. Like for the most part, um, your single is a, a commercial for your album. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's the advertisement that your album is coming out. Mm -hmm. You know, so I have huge singles. And, you know, singles are not the deepest things in the world. They're singles. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? They're, they're, they're the, they get the most attention for a record. So, but they don't hear track 13, track 11. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have that single, but it plays so much that they think that's the whole Jay-Z persona. That's exactly. everything Jay-Z about is this one song. Right here, but it's uh, much. The reasonable more. doubt album, of course. Mm -hmm. What was your mind state? I wasn't. I wasn't about uh, music, like you know. what I'm saying it wasn't mm -hmm. about music with me. I was a guy that's fresh off the street who had a talent, who didn't know. Like I didn't know for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like people were like, yo, you nice. I'm be like, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go. Yeah, really. I'm gonna go do this. You know what I'm saying? So I was really running the streets. Like I was really just doing that for my for my people like for my friends and people that went through the same thing like all the way like I don't know nothing about making a song or nothing about radio I ain't know nothing about music you, you know I came in this game like with I just learning you know what I'm saying so I was I was just making songs for my people to vibe to like I was talking about things that we was going through and if they was cool with it and they liked it I was good you're as an MC you're in it like mad long because I, I read uh, I believe it was in the vibe that you did did a demo with Kane like back in the day yeah and I mean yeah. MC heads they know you from yeah. the jazz of course and a lot of other and that, things and that's so. the thing that balance it out like they know I've been uh, in and out you know dabbling with it forever you know what I'm saying as long as they can remember as long as in a lot of people that's in the game you know what I'm saying so they gotta respect it on, a, on, on, on that level and you know I sell records commercially so the, the whole things come together but um, like now, you know, my song making abilities, you know, it matured. Like it, it, you know, I got better at making songs. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That that's why I still maintain. But that guy back there, I wouldn't want no problems with him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Last one now. 